Hi everybody! Making a silicone mold is an important part of many lure making projects. So today I'll run you through the basics of making a two-part silicone mold like this one. The master I'll be using for this tutorial is this one. It's a, a soft bait um, master for pike fishing here in Denmark. Uh, but you can use uh, anything like crankbaits and uh, jerkbaits as a master and uh, make copies of that one. But we'll be using this one for this purpose. As um, a silicone, uh, I have this one which is a non-heat resistant uh, silicone. That is uh, sufficient when you are making soft baits. But if you want to make um, stuff like uh, solder or lead, you will have to use a heat resistant uh, silicone. But the, the, the approach would be quite the same, so you can use the same uh, guide for that part. Apart from the silicone, I have a few other materials here. I have some uh, modeling clay, which I'll be using to act as a half a mold when I do the first uh, half of my silicone mold. I have some uh, Legos I'll be using uh, to make a frame uh, around the, the mold. Uh, you can use other stuff like uh, cardboard or plastic, but I just like the flexibility of using Legos and they can be washed off and used again and again. So um, these ones have been used uh, quite numerous times. Apart from that, you'll need uh, something to mix up the, um, the silicone in. A mixer, in this case a spoon. You will need to have a scale as uh, the silicone uh, needs to be weighed for, uh, for the correct uh, mixture. Uh, other um, silicones might have a mixture which is uh, per volume, but this one is per weight, so I'll use a scale here. Uh, and that could be uh, any scale, it could be a normal kitchen scale. Uh, I just have uh, purchased one for this purpose. Apart from that, I just need a few uh, brushes and um, I need some Vaseline to lubricate the mold to make sure that the two parts of the mold doesn't uh, stick to each other. So I think this is all I need. So uh, let's get started making the mold. When you make a silicon mold you will want the layout to be something like this. This is the general uh, mold and you will have the, the lure placed uh, more or less in the middle of the mold. Always have enough distance uh, to the edges to make sure that the edges are stable so you won't have uh, uh, any misshaping of the, the lure once you, uh, once you are casting it. And then you would have a funnel placed. If the lure is located like this you would have it placed up here where, where the lure is closest to the um, edge of the mold. The size of the funnel depends a little on, on what you are going to uh, cast with it. If you are making soft baits you would make sure that the, the funnel is big enough to, uh, to compensate for the shrinkage of the body. If you are making uh, lures in resin or something like that you would want a much smaller uh, uh, funnel just to make sure that uh, it's big enough to uh, be able to uh, pour in the, the resin. Apart from the funnel, uh, you might want uh, uh, some air channels to be able to uh, get rid of any bubbles that is uh, ending up in the top of the mold here. On this one there isn't any uh, points that are higher than the other, so it's fairly easy to know that the, the highest point will have the air bubbles is uh, up here. Apart from that, you will have some guides that make sure that the, the, the two parts of the mold are aligned. And that one, I will usually I would place them one in each corner if possible. And the guides would be a, a, little, uh, a little cone that, that will be able to, to steer the, the, the mold together. So this would more or less be the, the layout of the mold. Start by flattening the clay.
Use a round object to make the clay nice and smooth. Make a light indent of the master in the middle of the clay. With more bulky masters you should remove some of the clay underneath the master. Now press the master down until it's halfway buried in the clay. Make sure that there are no gaps between the master and the clay. You can use a knife blade to ensure that there's a 90 degree angle into the master which will give you the best result. Build an appropriate size frame with the Lego. Press down on the frame to leave an imprint in the clay. Use a piece of clay to shape the half of the funnel that is in this side of the mold. Also add small cones to act as guides. Reposition the frame and push it down firmly to ensure that there is no silicone leakage. Okay, I've now uh, buried the, the master halfway down in, in the modeling clay and I've added the, the tops so I have some, some uh, guides for, for everything. So now I'm more or less uh, ready to do a, a cast of this one. First of all, I'll just need to, uh, to lubricate the, the, the frame and uh, the, the master with some Vaseline uh, to make sure that uh, nothing sticks. So I'll just uh, grab my Vaseline here and um, one of my brushes and then I'll brush it all over and make sure that uh, all uh, cracks in, in, the, um, in the Lego are, are, are filled so I won't have any uh, leakage of the, the silicone. So I'll just, um, I'll just do that. You would always want to use as little silicone for the mold as possible. So always try to make the, the frame as small as possible, still having uh, enough on each side of the, the, the master to make sure that, that it's, uh, the mold is stable. And then it's just a question of uh, calculating the size of the mold, the inside. And this one is 16.8 uh, centimeters times 4.8. And I would want the, 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 the silicone side here to be uh, two centimeters high. And this is actually um, what I'll need. So I'll just calculate this on my phone here. And the result is 161.28. Well, this is cubic centimeters. which is equal milliliters and as the same the, the silicone is more or less the same weight I can also make this two grams okay so what I need is is around 160 grams of uh, silicone and um, 
I'll just uh, mix that up and pour it in. So, well, I'll put this aside for a second. When working with the silicone and resin and stuff like that, it's always uh, very important to make sure that you uh, follow the safety precautions uh, indicated by the manufacturer of the product. Uh, in this case, I don't think uh, the, the silicone is actually hazardous, but uh, still I would uh, wear a mask and gloves when I, when I do the, the mixing and, uh, and handling in general. So I'll just uh, put that on and then I'll go on with the with the mold here. As the silicone mixes 100 parts silicone to 5 parts hardener, I weigh up 150 grams of silicone and 7.5 gram of hardener. Now gently mix the two parts together. Some people use a vacuum degasser to remove bubbles from the silicone. But I find that if you mix it gently, bubbles won't be a big problem. When you mix, be sure to scrape the sides and get out to every corner so that all silicones are mixed with the hardener. I usually mix for 3 to 5 minutes just to be on the safe side. Start out by pouring in just enough silicone to cover the master. Then brush over any edges of the master to ensure that no bubbles are stuck there. Then you can just pour in the rest. Start in the middle and let the silicone float out and fill the mold. Vibrating the mold will let any bubbles in the silicone come to the surface where they can easily be popped. Well, the, the mold has now had a good day to, to harden and this part is uh, completely hard. So it's now time to make uh, the second part. And uh, to start with, we will have to remove the, the modeling clay. So I'll just uh, turn over the mold here and carefully removing the, the clay here. I would like the, the mask to stay where it is as um, that gives the best uh, contact with the, with the first part here. And I've would like the funnel to stay in there as well. If we can. Okay. Yeah, like that. Okay. And uh, let's just push the funnel down there again. Now I'll just uh, make the second half of the funnel, the funnel that's on the on this side of the the lure, and. Um, I'll then um, build up with uh, some more Legos to make uh, the second, to make room for, for the second part. Uh, I don't know if I have enough Legos, but otherwise I will take the, the, the bottom layer of this one. And then I'll uh, make ready for, for, for the second part. The funnel is made from an extra piece of clay that is shaped to match the first part. If needed, you can use a knife blade to trim the funnel. From this point, it's more or less a repetition of the process from the first part. 
you extend the frame to be able to hold part 2. You lubricate part 1, the frame, and the master with the Vaseline. Weigh up the same amount of silicone and hardener and mix it up carefully. Pour in a little bit of the mix and brush the critical parts before you pour in the rest. Finish up by vibrating the mold to get rid of any bubbles. Now another day has passed and um, the mold is uh, hardened fully. So now we are ready for the most exciting part of the process while we um, open the mold and see uh, how the result has become. Okay, and here is the funnel, so it is um, quite easy to figure out where to start splitting the, the mold here, so I'll just Look at that, looking very nice. Um, I don't see any uh, bubbles in it or anything. Uh, that would be the worst thing that could happen is that uh, along the sides here could sit a, a little bubble that would uh, turn up in, in uh, each uh, cast of the mold. But this one, uh, well, this one really looks nice, I must say. And yeah. What remains now before I can uh, do some some cast is and I usually uh, I'll just check this one. I usually use some some sidings of uh, wood here to uh, to stabilize the mold while I um, I cast. So I'll need uh, to make some new ones that uh, that fit the mold, and then I'm actually ready. I don't think. Uh, uh, this uh, type of mold will need any air vents, but otherwise I'll just um, I'll just grab a, a knife and uh, and cut a little uh, air vent here where the the problem with um, collecting uh, bubbles uh, is. If you want nice shiny soft baits, you can lubricate the mold with some mold oil. Assemble the mold and secure it with some rubber bands. Don't set them too tight as that could deform the mold. Always remember your mask. This cast will have three colors. If you don't want the colors to get mixed, you should wait until each layer has hardened before pouring in the next. I quickly learned that by tilting the mold I could avoid any bubbles in the tail of the shed. Fill the funnel high to compensate for any shrinkage.
Notice how much soft plastic has been sucked down from the funnel. If the soft plastic is still very soft, you can gently remove the bait from the mold and place it in a bucket of water until it's fully hardened. Well, that's all for this movie. I hope you, uh, you liked it. And if so, please uh, remember to subscribe to my channel. There will be more of the basic lure making videos coming up over time. Um, and if you're wondering if the pikes like the soft bait from the movie, you should check the channel as well. There will be some uh, video log coming up where I take this uh, for some test fishing. And uh, to me, the, the result was quite convincing. So, well, thanks for watching and I hope you see me soon.